During our Farm Basics time today, we're going to talk a little bit about how much water does a crop actually use. And I actually ran some calculations, so I, I, I just wrote them down because I knew I wouldn't be able to remember all this. It's just, always scary to me example. whenever Brian comes to the field with papers <laughs> in his hand, I'm like, oh no, what's it gonna be this time? But you think about it, there are a lot of different crops that we're growing and rainfall doesn't exactly come the same amount every day unless well, you're doing Well, we're gonna irrigation. talk about all that, but uh, here's the thing. I just wanna give you some numbers to start with. Let's say that I've got 100 bushel corn versus 300 bushel corn, and let's say I was able to raise each miraculously on the exact same amount of water, which is sometimes possible. So in our area, our average rainfall is 22 inches for the entire year that includes the snow. An acre inch of water is 27,154 gallons. So if you multiply the 22 inches times the 27,154, that comes up to 597,388 gallons. We'll call it 600,000 gallons for short. All right, if you divide that out by 100 bushels versus 300 bushels, here's what it amounts to. The 100 bushels took 5,974 gallons. The 300 bushel corn took 1,991 bushels. Now, the reason why I wanted to start you with this is to say both things are possible, and we wanna to talk today about how both things can be possible, that look, it took 6,000 gallons of water in one case versus 2,000 gallons of water per bushel in another case. All right, well, here's the easy way to look at this, Brian. Let's just say you put that corn plant in a pot. How many gallons of water is it going to take? Not very many for the whole year. It's certainly not gonna take 2,000 gallons to raise an acre worth of corn or 6,000 gallons. A lot of that water is either going to run off or soak down through the ground. So it's not going to matter. We can do it on less gallons, there's no question. But my idea, Brian, is how do we capture more of that water with a bigger root system? Could we get a thousand bushel corn if we could do that? All right, well, there's that. But what I want you to think about to begin with is how many plants are actually out there on a per acre basis? Some farmers will plant as much as 40,000 plants on a per acre basis. Other farmers might plant 12,000 or 16,000 plants. So that will have something to do with it. Another big thing is plants have the process of respiration and transpiration. They're constantly kicking water out into the air, pulling water back in from the air. There's below ground water movement. Darren mentioned already earlier, there's the timing on the rainfall. There's capillary action of water and soil where literally it can move up in the soil. Every soil is a little different in terms of water holding capacity. And then there is certainly temperature and humidity. There are a lot of factors that enter into this. Well, certainly when we're talking about any kind of plant, it's going to take some moisture. Maybe a cactus doesn't take much, but it does need a little bit of moisture. Crops may need quite a bit more than a cactus, but they still don't need all the moisture that we're using for the bushels that we're currently raising. We can raise more bushels per gallon of water. That's one of the big things that farmers are working for going forward. So one of the things that farmers can do to make this better is by having the proper balance of nutrients out there. Crops become water wasters when they're short on any one nutrient. So if they're short on some nutrient, they start pulling more water in because that's how the nutrient gets into the plant is by bringing water in. So we can make our plants more efficient if we just do a better job overall in terms of fertility out there. But the big thing, and the reason why we wanted to talk about this today is there is no exact answer. People will say, how much water does it take to produce a bushel of corn or a bushel of soybeans or anything? Nobody knows. It can vary a tremendous amount. But our goal as farmers is to continue to use less, yet produce more. Well, we can certainly get by with less gallons of water if we don't have any weeds in our field. We'll show you how to stop this tough weed later in the show. <music> 